How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. The Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. They would feast on who pudding and rare who roast beast, which was something the Grinch couldn't stand in the least. And then they'd do something he liked least of all. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand hand in hand, and the who's would start singing. I must stop this Christmas from coming, but how? Then he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue. Where the little who stockings all hung in a row. These stockings, he grinned, are the first things to go. Jar, knife, cake, bag, box, can. They're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. Then the Who's down in Whoville will all cry boo hoo. Every Who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came somehow or other. It came just the same. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. <laughs>